Hi. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to download and install Oracle database on Windows 10. Open your internet browser. Search for Oracle. Navigate to oracle.com. In order to download Oracle products, you have to have an account. Click on sign in or register. If you already have an Oracle account, then sign in. If you don't, then create new one. It's free. Just click on create account and provide your personal information. I'm going to sign in with my Oracle account. As you can see, I've logged in successfully. Now, click on downloads. Scroll down. Click on Database Downloads. I'll download Database 11G Enterprise or Standard Editions. You have to accept License Agreement. Scroll down. This section for downloading Oracle Database 11G Release 2. As you can see, there are different files for different platforms or operating system. I'm currently using Windows 10, but it's important to know the system type, 32 or 64 bit. It's very simple to know that. Right click on computer icon, select properties. My system type is 64 bit. So, I have to download file 1 and file 2 for Microsoft Windows X64 bit. Fortunately, I've already downloaded them. The files you download, they will be compressed files. So, you have to decompress them in order to install. Right click on the first file, click on Extract all. Click on Extract. Right click on the second file. Click on Extract all. Click Extract. This process is going to take some time, so I'll speed up the process. Once you have extracted both of them, open the second folder, part 2 of 2. Copy this folder, database folder, go back, and open the first folder, part 1 of 2. Paste the folder here. Now open database folder. Right click on Setup and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes. Click on Yes. For educational purpose only, I'll uncheck this checkbox and I will not provide any mail address. But in real environment, I'll strongly recommend providing the following details. Click Next. Click on Yes. Select the first option, Create and Configure a Database. Click Next. Select Desktop class if you are installing Oracle Database on a laptop. If you have Server, then select Server class. Click Next. Oracle Base is the main folder that contains Oracle software and Oracle database. Notice this. It is not allowed to have a space in the path. You can change this path to any partition. I'll leave the default path. For database edition, I'll select Enterprise Edition. And for character set, select the default. Global database name. It's the name you choose 
for your Oracle system identifier. You will need to remember this when using SQL Developer to access Oracle database. Set your administrative password and confirm it. Click on Next. Click Finish. This process is going to take some time, so I'll just speed up the process. In order to have Oracle surfaces running correctly, you have to allow access and don't block it. Allow access. This is the last process for creating database and Oracle instance. Database creation complete. Global database name and the system identifier is Safa. You have to remember yours. Now click on Password Management. Unlock any user you want. All the users have a specific schema. For educational purpose, I will unlock HR user who owns the HR sample schema that most of the examples and tutorials using HR schema and I'll set HR as a password for simplicity. Click OK. Click Yes. The installation of Oracle Database was successful. Close this window. Now, to access Oracle Database, you can use SQL Plus that ships already with Oracle Database installation. Just search for SQL Plus. SQL Plus is a client program with which you can access Oracle Database. I will use HR user to login with password HR. As you can see, I've connected to Oracle Database 11G. There is another way to access Oracle Database, which makes the interaction with Oracle Database much more easier than SQL Plus by using SQL Developer. If you would like to know how to get SQL Developer and how to access Oracle Database using SQL Developer, then click on this link. That's all for this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.